This is definitely prime pre-crazy cage. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Lord of War. This is one of the movies that you guys suggested to me when I did that video talking about movies that you would want me to review. I actually really love this movie. I watched this film repeatedly in high school. I even acquired a copy that you would possibly call non-legitimate. This film was basically the Wolf of Wall Street movie before Wolf of Wall Street came out. And it has an even extra layer of corruptibility and making you feel like garbage for liking this guy. This film was directed by Andrew Nicole. It actually is probably the last good movie this dude's done. He's done Gattaca. That's it. The guy did write The Truman Show and he was one of the executive producers and story writers for The Terminal, but really this guy has not done anything since. I keep going to see his movies except for the host and they're all garbage in comparison to this film because this film really nails down a character you shouldn't like, but you do even though what he does is horrible. The film follows Nicolas Cage's character Yuri as he becomes one of the most profitable arms dealers in the world through the 80s and early 90s. Along the way, he comes across a numerous amount of horrible and very interesting characters, but the primary one that has the most connection to the audience really is his brother, played by Jared Leto, also before he kind of went a little crazy. Jared Leto is constantly having this moral battle with himself and to try and disappear from the guilt that he feels helping his brother with his business is he becomes an addict in drugs and alcohol. While Nick is thinking that he's trying to do the best thing for his brother by taking him to rehab but giving a little sniff beforehand, as well as having him accompany him along with on jobs, he is actually the primary corrupting factor to his brother and what results with that family story is all because of his fault. While he thinks that he's the good brother and he's trying to do the right thing, everything he does is wrong. Yuri is doing a profitable business. He is financing war, but at the same time he's not taking sides, so he removes himself as much as he can from the carnage and destruction that his products are supplying. He's able to find this small, small moral high ground for himself throughout the film. The film has a lot of lines now that mean so much more than they did before. The fact that anytime liberation or freedom front is added to a moniker for a freedom cell in Africa usually just means it's a different form of warlord, and anytime that a warlord is killed, he is usually replaced place most likely by someone far worse. There's a lot of moral ambiguity throughout the film with different conversations about the idea of violence and gun running. It also has one of the best opening credit sequences ever put to film. It is still a great scene of this bullet just starting in a little factory, making its way across the world into a gun and into a kid's head. This movie has not aged badly at all. It is just as good as I remember it when I watched it for the first time. And there's a lot of scenes now that I understand far more than I did when I was 15 years old. I actually haven't seen it in that long of a time, so it was pretty cool to watch this again. Lord of War is one of the best movies that Nicolas Cage has made, and it's really the best movie that Andrew Nicole has ever made. He's never gonna fucking top this, ever. Lord of War gets a seven out of seven from me. This is one of my favorite movies. I don't know why I don't own it because it's just so good. The pacing is fantastic. The characters are great. The soundtrack's great. The writing's great. The story is phenomenal. It is just a great movie to make you feel crappy about yourself. And then you can watch Wolf of Wall Street, which is essentially this movie, except about stockbrokers, and it's an hour longer. But that's also still very good. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until next time, see you guys later. Later. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.